Praise the Lord with me. Greetings to everyone around the globe. It is great to be with all of you as always. I hope by the grace of God, all is well with every one of you. I am Brother Theodore in Copenhagen, Denmark. You are most welcome to this teaching in Jesus' name. I have no doubt in my mind that before the end of this teaching, you will be greatly blessed. And I also have no doubt that you will not want to miss this teaching. Before we continue, let us commit this teaching to the hands of the Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to hear from your word. Lord, help us to understand that you are coming and help us to prepare ourselves as such in Jesus' name. I cover this teaching with the blood of Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to look briefly at the topic Angels announce the second coming of Christ. Angels announce the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. The book of Acts, the book of Acts of the Apostle, chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. I read, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud Receive him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand he gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come. In like manner as he have seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah. When the Lord Jesus Christ ascended into heaven, when he was taken into heaven, his disciples were amazed. They were looking up because the Lord Jesus Christ had gone into heaven. And suddenly, two men, that is two angels, appeared. And what did this angel say? They said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as he have seen him go into heaven. So these two angels announced the second coming of Christ. They made it clear that Jesus will come the same way he ascended into heaven. He will come the same way he went into heaven. What did they say? They said, this same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as he have seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah. These angels were crystal clear. They were abundantly clear. They made it clear to the apostles and are making it clear to us that this same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. How did Jesus go to heaven? He ascended to heaven. Hallelujah. Everybody saw him when he ascended. Everybody saw him when he went into heaven. All the disciples saw him when he was received into heaven. And the angels are telling us now that the same way Jesus went into heaven, he will come the same way. All eyes will see him when he will come. All eyes saw him when he went to heaven. The disciples saw him when he went to heaven. 
All eyes will see him when he will come. This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So this is abundantly clear. This is plain. It is unambiguous. It is unquestionable. It is unequivocal that this same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. What does it mean? It means that the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is unquestionable. The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is crystal clear. The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is abundantly clear. The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is unequivocal. Therefore, you are admonished to prepare for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The angels were crystal clear. They announced the second coming in a clear language. They announced the second coming in a language that everybody understands. They said, this same Jesus, which is taken up from you, into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah. You cannot prepare for the coming of Jesus if you are not born again. You cannot prepare for the coming of Jesus if you do not know him. If you are not his follower, you are not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am only sure to do so right now, pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. I thank you because you are coming again. Lord, I accept that I am a miserable sinner. Lord Jesus, I now believe in you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I confess that you are my Lord and my personal Savior. Lord, write my name now in the book of life and give me the grace to serve you in righteousness and holiness all the days of my life here on earth and make it to heaven at the end. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the finished work of the cross. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You have prayed that prayer. Congratulations for your name is now written in the book of life and all the angels are now celebrating in heaven for this most important decision you have taken in your life. Send to us an email and we shall pray for you in Jesus' name. Our email address is worldwidebws at gmail.com. Worldwide B as in boy, W as in woman, S as in school at gmail.com. Have an excellent and blessed day. I am Brother Theodore in Copenhagen, Denmark. Over and out.